to the third lecture on the course CEC 309 construction technology today we are going to look at materials handling that's procedure for lifting heavy materials on site my name is engineer Obona Namde if you're yet to subscribe to our channel please press the subscribe button if you like this video give us a thumbs up and if you want to stay up to speed with our new videos please hit the bell icon or the notification icon once again thanks for joining us in today's lecture we are going to start with material handling lifting heavy items is one of the leading causes of injury in the workplace in 2001 the u.s bureau of labor statistics reported that over 36 percent of injuries involving missed work days were the result of shoulder and back injuries overexertion and cumulative trauma were the biggest factor in this injuries when employ em employees use smart lifting practices and work in their power zone they are less likely to suffer from back sprain muscle pulls wrist injuries elbow injuries spinal injuries and other injuries caused by lifting heavy objects so these are factors we need to have in mind when we are trying to lift heavy objects then we want to look at potential hazards associated with weight of objects some loads such as heavy tools and machinery place great stress on muscles disc vertebra lifting loads heavier than 25 kg will increase the risk of injury Let us look at possible solutions involving hazards associated with weight of objects. The first solution is that we should use mechanical means such as forklifts or duct lifts to lift heavy objects and machinery. Use pallet jacks and hand trucks to transport heavy items avoid rolling spools because once they are in motion it is difficult to stop them use ramps or lift gates to load machinery into trucks rather than lifting it so based on these solutions we are looking at we need to use mechanical uh, lifts or mechanical means of lifting heavy objects then we should also use pallet jacks hand trucks to transport items that are too heavy for humans to carry so rolling spools we should avoid carrying them because once they set in motion it will be difficult to stop them so we need to avoid when we are carrying a, a material that is capable of rolling so we need to carry them properly to avoid injury then we should also use suction to lift junction buses and other materials with smooth flat surfaces then also the use of ramps or lift gates to load machinery into truck are also important other possible solutions include that materials that must be manually lifted should be placed at the power zone power zone height which is about mid tie to mid chest special care should be taken to ensure proper lifting principles are used we should also maintain neutral and straight spine alignment whenever it is possible usually bending at the knees not the waist helps maintain proper spine alignment then place materials that are to be manually lifted are the power zone height about the mid thigh to mid chest maintain neutral and straight spine alignment whenever possible 
usually bending at the knees not the waist helps maintain proper spine alignment other supplies in small quantities and breakdown load of site when possible request the vendors and suppliers break down their loads prior to delivery so these are other possible solutions we need to look at here we consider the power zone height which is the mid thigh and the mid chest so we should ensure that lifting that proper lifting principles are maintained then because we need to consider body alignment when trying to lift these items so if possible we should also instruct the suppliers to subdivide these materials into smaller quantities that will be easy to transport so they should break down the materials or the loads into smaller quantities to allow human beings or workers to lift them prefabricate items in a central area where mechanical lift can be used only transport smaller finished products to the site so most times we have to prefabricate make these items where we can use mechanical lift and then we transport the smaller materials to the site then we should also limit the weight of items that we carry as a single individual we should avoid lifting objects that are heavier than 25 kg where the objects are heavier than 25 kg we two persons can can do the, can lift the object rather than one person doing so then we should also work with suppliers to make smaller lighter containers so these are the possible solutions which we can use to minimize injuries or hazards which are caused by lifting of heavy objects so the next one we want to look at we want to look at potential hazards that are associated with body posture especially awkward body posture so the first one is bending while lifting lifting forces the back to support the weight of the upper body in addition to the weight you are lifting bending while lifting places strain on the back even when lifting something as light as a screwdriver so whenever we are reaching out for an object or picking an object or lifting an object we should in as much as possible avoid bending because it forces the back to support the weight of the upper body in addition to the weight we are trying to lift then bending or bending moves the, the load away from the body and allows leverage to significantly increase the effective load on the back this increases the stress on the lower spine and the and also fatigues the muscles so bending while picking objects is highly discouraged because bending moves the load away from the body and allows leverage to increase the effective load on the back so it increases the stress on the lower spine and also subjects the muscles to fatigue reaching moves the load away from the back increases the effective load and places considerable strain on the shoulder here reaching for objects he said it moves the load away from the back and increases the effective load and places considerable strain on the shoulder so carrying load on the shoulder actually one shoulder under an arm or in one hand creates uneven pressure on the spine poor housekeeping limits proper access to objects being lifted and forces awkward postures so what do we mean by poor housekeeping most times on site we must avoid dropping or storing objects immediately we must drop them where it will be easy 
and for us to reach out for them and for us to pick them without subjecting our bodies to uh, awkward postures. So when we place objects on table or where it will be easy for us to lift them without changing or bending the body position, it reduces the hazards associated with awkward body postures. So let us look at the possible solutions. The first one, we are, we are advised to move items close to our body and use our legs when lifting an item from a lower location. So if we must pick objects that are on the ground or lower position, so we have to move those items closer to the body and we, if possible, we need to use our legs. Then store and place materials that need to be manually lifted and transported at power zone height, about mid tie to mid chest. So we consider power zone height, where the body power, the power generated by the body is concentrated. So we said it at the mid tie to the mid chest. So when dropping this object, they must be dropped at power zone height in order to avoid awkward body posture. Minimize bending and reaching by placing heavy objects on shelves, tables, or racks. Avoid twisting, especially when bending forward while lifting. Turn by moving the feet rather than twisting the torso. So when we have to turn, use the feet to turn rather than twisting the torso. Keep your elbows close to your body and keep the load as close to your body as possible. When lifting the object, we need to keep our elbow close to the body and also the load as close as possible. Keep the vertical distance of lift between mid tie and mid height. Do not start a lift below mid tie height nor end the lift above shoulder height. Lifting from below waist, waist height puts stress on the leg, knees and the back. Lifting above the shoulder, the shoulder height puts stress on the upper back, shoulders and the arms. So we have to consider when lifting, when lifting objects, so we have to consider their position, especially for vertical distances between the mid thigh and shoulder height. So we don't keep objects where it will be too high for us to stretch, to stretch our hands to avoid putting stress on the upper back, shoulder and the arms. And also, we don't start to lift objects below the mid thigh height because it also places stress on the legs, the knees and the back. Viewers, this is where we come to the end of the third lecture on CEC 309 where we are trying to look at the recommended position for lifting loads or heavy loads on construction sites. We've looked at hazards associated with lifting heavy objects and we have also looked at hazards associated with awkward body positions. So implementing the recommended procedures will reduce injury on site and also reduce the body stress and other hazards that are associated to lifting heavy objects on sites. So viewers, like us on YouTube by giving us thumbs up. And if you're yet to subscribe, please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to stay up to speed with our new videos, hit the bell icon or click the notification icon. Thanks for being part of this lecture. See you in the next video on CEC 309. My name is Engineer Wonan Nandi. Have a nice day.